Hi, now here we have a typical example where you've got to find the acute angle between two lines L1 and L2, giving your answer in degrees to one decimal place. So if this is a question you'd like to try, then I'll give you a moment to pause the video. You can fast forward when you come back to the answer at the end, or take it slowly and I'll take you through in detail a work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, if you're going to find the angle then between two lines L1 and L2, what I'd want to do first of all is just sketch those two lines. And the angle that I'm looking for, the acute angle, would be say that one there which we'll call theta. And we should be familiar with this technique. What we do is work out this angle as being the angle contained between these two vectors on the end here. Remember these two vectors give us the direction that the line's going in. So like A and B would be those two vectors. And we can translate them into our position like this on the line there for A and similarly for B it's that one there. And Using these two vectors, we can then go on to use this idea that if we've got two vectors A and B, and we've got the components here, the angle theta between those two vectors is given by the cosine of theta equals A dot B over the magnitude of A magnitude of B, where A dot B is defined as being this sum here. So we start then by saying let a be one of those direction vectors. Let's say we take it as this one here and I'm going to write it as a column vector. So it's going to be 1, 4, minus 2, 1, 4, minus 2 and then we've got and B, the other direction vector. I'm going to take then as 2, 1, 1. So put that down, 2, 1, 1. And then we've got to work out a dot b. So a dot b we work out as being 1 times 2, 1 times 2, plus and then 4 times 1. I'll show the working, okay, plus and then minus 2 times the 1. Minus 2 then multiplied by the 1. And if you work that out, what you've got here is 2 plus 4 minus 2, and that comes to 4. So we next need to work out the magnitude of our two vectors. So if we're working out the magnitude, say, of the vector A first of all, we use Pythagoras' theorem for this. The magnitude of A is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. And we don't need to worry about the negative 2 here. We just to treat it as 2. So what we've got is 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared. And if you work this out, you get the square root of 21. Similarly, we work out the magnitude of the vector b. And that's going to be the square root then of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And this comes to a total of root 6. So we're now in a position to write down the cosine of theta. So therefore, cosine of theta is equal to a dot b, which is 4, divided by the magnitude of a and b. So that's the root of 21 multiplied by the root of 6. Now, if you work these out, then what you find you get, and taking the inverse cosine of both sides, by the way, you get theta equals the inverse cosine of 0.3563 and so on. Don't forget we want our angle in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. And if you inverse cos that value, you should find you get 69.12 and so on degrees. We're asked to give our answer in degrees to one decimal place, so that's going to be 69.1 degrees to one decimal place, one dp. If it's an acute angle, that's great. If it had turned out more than 
90 degrees, then we would have been finding this angle here, this obtuse angle. All we've got to do is just take it away from 180 degrees to get that acute angle. So I hope that gives you an idea anyway on how to go about that type of question. All right?